guys and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel thank you so much guys thanks to all of my subscribers my old subscribers and the new ones i really appreciate you guys i seriously do appreciate you guys today i'm going to be showing you how to draft a latest and um, bat wing peplum style yeah that is what i actually call it it was actually sent yeah today is actually um a subscribers on friday so i'm going to be posting this video this video was actually sent to me by one of my subscribers on instagram to show her how to actually um draft or rather make this um dress so for subscribers um there's that's for subscribers and request um videos what i normally do i normally make use of uh, pattern papers to and i try as much as i can to make it so easy for you to understand i use paper i draft them on paper and then try to do a little coupling with my stapler and whatever just to make it easy for you to understand so that is what we actually do on um subscribers request days so you could if you having any picture of anything you actually want me to make you could go to my instagram handle at stylish niger and just drop the picture you could go to facebook at stylish niger and drop the picture you could go to the sewing group also at stylish niger sewing group on facebook and just drop your picture so your request might get picked so today like i told you i said this is a like a latest style of bat wing we have various types of bat wing this is like a latest style of bat wing uh, blouse it's actually a peplum blouse so that's what i'm going to be showing you i'll do it in the most simplest and easiest way i can to make you understand so we just get straight to the point now so i have my pattern paper here I have my pattern paper here folded into two you can see i folded it um horizontally yeah it is horizontally not vertically so i have two pieces here for the back and the front which i'm going to do it together but i'll keep the back first and then do the front and then come back and use the front to cut out the back part so the first thing you do in i'll try and give you the standard measurement to make it so easy for you so the first thing you measure the half part you can see the the picture up there you will measure the half cut of this um bat wing um style that you want to make so for this what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be making use of uh, 11 0.5 inches so 11.5 inches will be like my half cut because i'm going to be adding a band to this so that is why I'm going to be adding a band to it. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll measure out uh, the shoulder line. I'll measure out my shoulder line. So as I go along, I'll just insert the measurement in to make it easy for you. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold my pattern paper into two. So we're just going to assume that this is your, your fabric. You fold it into two and then the the length that's the width because it's going to be pleated the width uh, uh, of the, the the your fabric is going to be determined by how full you actually want the sleeves to be so that's just basically the sleeve and then the down part of the body so how full you actually want it to be for this what i have on fold i actually have an um, 18 inches i will advise you you could use them um, between 20 to 25 inches to actually make it very full you make use of between 20 to 25 inches that's on fold that's for somebody that standard size just like my size my size that's average size so i'll just continue so the next thing the first thing i'm going to be doing now the first thing i'm going to be inserting here from this uh, shoulder line i'm going to be inserting my um shoulder measurement the first thing I'll insert is the shoulder measurement. And the shoulder measurement for this uh, pattern uh, is 13 inches. So, and 13 inches is 6.5. So, this is like my 6.5 inches here. And then the sleeve uh, measurement. The sleeve measurement. I have 11 inches. That's just my pattern paper that is remaining. But you could use um, between normal sleeve length for such. You could use between 14 to 16 inches depends on how full you actually want it to be so 14 to 16 inches so for the sleeve um, length that's the length of the sleeve so the next thing i'm going to do now i'll just come down by one inch here i'm just going to 
slant the shoulder line or slant it a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll measure out my neckline. For the neckline, I'm going to the width I'm going to be using. I'll make use of the standard uh, measurement. It should not be too big and it should not be too small, which is three inches. You could use three point five, but this is this is a draft. So I use three inches by three by four. I'll just make use of three inches by four inches, and I'm doing the V neckline. So I'm just going to come like this and take my ruler and just mark it like this. So the next thing I'll do, I'll cut them all out. So you can see what I have here now. So you can see I've cut out the neckline, like I told you initially. So for the for my armhole, I co I'll come to buy the 14 line. That's from this point to this point is 14. I will just uh, measure. I'm going to be making use of this entire length for my armhole because i'm going to be adding a band to it so i'll make use of this whole 11 inches that i have here i'll make use of it for my armhole so i'm just going to leave this on the side i'll leave this on the side and then i'll cut out the back piece so this is my back arm piece so I have a, a zipper, so I'll be putting uh, my zipper allowance, so I'm just going to rule out the zipper allowance. But for the sake of this illustration, I'm not going to be cutting it open. So for now, so this is the zipper allowance for the back piece. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'll just come to the down part, that's the hem line of uh, this, my half cut. You know initially I used 11 inches, so you measure from your shoulder to your half cut, that's the under of your bust. So I'll come to this point, that's the end, that's the hemline, that's the ending part, and then I'll measure 5 inches. So I'll just make uh, a mark like this on my 5 inches. Like I told you, how long, If you depends on how full you want it, so you can add, decide to add more volume to, that's more fabric to, to this side to make it longer, that's to the sleeve part so that's just that so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to put notch here for the back and the front i'm just i'm just going to notch it i'll make a notch here like this so this is my notch for the back and then the front so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to cut out uh, measure out my waistline i'll just mark it but i'm not going to be working with it yet so my waistline for this dress is 28 inches so when you divide 28 into four you have 7.5 inches and then i'll add half an inch to it so this is like my 7.5 inches so for my waistline plus the allowance so this is it so i'm just going to be ruling it like this So I'll just put a notch here. So this notch is for this point that I'm, I'm going to be closing up this point. And then this is my measurement. That's my waist uh, measurement. That's my half cut round circumference of my half cut. So this is this. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to be stitching this point to make it easier for you to understand. So I've stitched on um, the shoulder line together using my stapler. So assuming this is your fabric, then you take it to your machine and then you stitch the shoulder line together and then you stop. And then the next thing, you remember this is my, this is the, the, the actual waist uh, measurement. This is my waist measurement. And then you remember this first five inches that I, that I measured. I'm going to be stitching it together. So this is what forms the armhole on this um, bat wing um, peplum blouse. So you stitch it, you run a stitch along the line okay guys so you can see so this is the five inches that i told, talked about so i've stitched it up now i use my stapler i stitched it up so this is it on this side and then the shoulder line is stitched together so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be cutting my peplum i'm going to actually be pleating it i'm just going to be pleating it so before then I'm, I'm, I'm going to be cutting my peplum down. so i'll just put this on the side so i can pleat both of them together so I just put this on the side and then cut out my peplum. So 
for my waist uh, measurement is actually um, 28 inches. So when you divide 28 into, into 4. So for the peplum, the waist uh, measurement is actually 28 inches. So when you add, I'll, I'll add my zipper allowance, which is 2 inches. So it will give me 30 and, and I'll divide 30 by 6. 0.28 you could decide to make a straight uh, peplum that's just like a square like a square like this and just pleat together or you could decide to do the regular round peplum so you just make your choice so for this I'll, I'll be doing the round one so I'll divide uh, by 6.28 I'm just going to fold it out to cut out my peplum I'm not going to be deliberating on that here I have videos loads of videos of how to cut peplum i'm just going to cut it out straight so for this um peplum i just have a quick explanation to make before i continue for this peplum this kind of peplum if you are going to be doing the straight one you decide to do that for, but for since i'm going to be pleating the peplum i'm going to be really pleating it really doing a big pleat on it so you divide uh, your waist uh, measurement. You just, sorry, you times your waist measurement by three. That depends on how big you want it. You did you times your waist measurement by if you are going to be doing the box one times your waist measurement. For instance, if your waist is um thirty inches, you can times by three, and it gives you ninety. It gives you ninety. But if you don't want it so big, you could decide to do times by two, and then you have sixty inches. So that's that would now be the circumference of the peplum. So you, by the time you fold, it fits in properly. So that's just the essence. So for this, I'm going to be using uh, the double one. I'm not going to be tripling it. That's I'm not going to times by three. I'll times by two because this is a pattern. I don't have a pattern paper that is as big as that. So I've cut out my peplum now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be pleating this part now. This part, that's from this point now. I'll pleat it to fit into my waist and measurement. So that's just what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to use pleats. You could decide to make use of a one one inch interval. Or you could decide to make use of gathers. You could decide to make use of pleats. Whatever um, works for you. So you could just use that. All you have to do is just pleat it. You can see guys I've, I've finished pleating to my waist measurement so you actually pleat it and then you measure when you, you pleat it and then you measure and make sure it is the waist and measurement so the next thing i'm going to do now pleats um I'll, I'll have cut out a band of you could this, this band you could decide to do it any inch of your choice so i have 2.5 inches band here two inches for the band and then half inch for the for the um, half inch for the stitching so this band you're going to be fitting it into this point so you make sure that the band is the same uh, inch as your waist uh, measurement so that's just what i'm going to be doing now so i'm just going to get a band that will fit into my waist uh, measurement now so up to this point so i'm just going to cut it out and then stitch it in order for you to understand what i mean back guys so you can see i finished uh, fixing in the the waistband that i cut out so there's important um, notes that i want you to note during the pleating i pleated and left um a little couple of an inch here after this um, seam and this um sleeve line that i stitch you leave half an inch here so that half an inch is what you use to secure it down properly on this point so you just leave half an inch there so to use it to, to secure your band. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to be pleating now. The next thing you do now, you pleat your peplum to fit into your band uh, measurement. So you just pleat your peplum to fit into it. So that's just what I'm going to be doing now. The next thing. So guys, welcome back. So you can see the peplum part, I've, I've, I've finished... Uh, Pleating it so you could decide to do any pleats of your choice. You could decide to do regular pleats on top and then or you could decide to draw it gathers. You could decide to do um, box pleats. So you just choose whatever pleats that works for you. So you go ahead and do that. So and then I will now go I'll go ahead now and fix it to to this point now. So I'll fix it around like this. 
to the back so i'll just do that and then show you now i'll start fixing you start you actually start fixing from the back that's from the zipper allowance part you start fixing it so that actually makes it easy for you so you just start fixing like this so you fix it around you fix it around so at this the end then you fix your zipper here so i'll just do that and then come back and show you so guys you can see so i finished splitting it in i just tried because it's paper it was it was not really working out for me it was so difficult because it's a paper so the next thing so i'm i'm almost through with this uh illustration this pattern uh illustration so the next thing the sleeve you could decide to just um use uh, your elastic band to you could use your elastic rubber to just uh hold your sleeves together so that's this is what really gives it that uh that curve so you know when you use elastic it will be like this so this is what gives it that curve and then you find your sleeve coming down so this is it so when you use elastic your sleeve your sleeve will be like this and then it comes down because this is a paper so you can see how difficult it is for me it's not staying at all so i'm just going to do the same thing to this side you use your elastic you just hold it with your elastic you draw the sleeve together with your elastic band and then you are good to go so this is just it so this is it i'm just going to look for things to secure it <laughs> so guys so this is it so i have now come to the end of this uh, illustration this latest um bat wing um peplum blouse so if you find this video helpful please do not hesitate to hit on the like button subscribe if you have any question regarding what i did drop your questions down on the, on the comment section i'll be fast to reply to you and then send in your pictures at stylish niger so thank you so much and bye god bless you